So if you've had your laser for any amount of time, somebody, either a customer or more importantly, your wife has come up to you and asked you to make something that you have never made before or don't exactly know how to make. Today, I'm going to teach you how to prototype without using expensive materials to get the result that you want and save you some money along the way. Let's go. What's up, guys? I'm Nick, and this is Build Dead Build, a place where we take you seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Today, what we're going to be using is something that you should have a lot of around the house, especially this time of year. It is cardboard. So if you're getting any Amazon boxes or whatever, you want to save it for this project. So we're going to use some material that you would normally just throw away or recycle to use for our prototype design. My wife has asked me to make her one of these. I don't know how to make that. So we're going to jump over on the computer. We're going to design our own. We're going to use our prototyping material to make a prototype. And then we're going to decide how we want to design the final product. So this is a thinner material. I have thicker cardboard down in the shop. So I'm going to be using that. Something that's really good when you're doing prototyping is to have a set of calipers. That way you can figure out exactly how thick your material is. It looks like this is 0.263 inches. That's gonna come into play while we're making our prototypes. We need to know how thick the material is. Now let's jump over onto the computer and uh, get started. Okay, so the first thing I did is I found a bunch of images of Christmas trees online and I sent them to my wife because you wanna make sure that the wife approves. <laughs> so out of these, she settled on this green one. We're going to open up and I'm going to edit in AI. You can do this in other editing softwares. This is just what I have. Um, let's go ahead and make this I'll go nine. And we want our Christmas tree to be about uh, nine and a half or nine inches tall. So I'm going to go nine and a half just for a little, a little wiggle room. Okay, and then we're gonna grab this guy and we're gonna paste it in here. And it's huge. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to image trace it. Next, I'm gonna ungroup it. I'm sorry, expand it. And then we grab this, we take it out, get rid of this. And then all I want is the outline of this. So I'm gonna give it a, a stroke of 0.5, a fill of nothing. But then we're gonna bring this down, hold the shift key, and we'll bring it in here. And you know what? I'm gonna make my, um, let's go ahead and make the height nine. Um, ooh, and it's pretty wide too. Let's go ahead and add an artboard. I'm gonna make a base for it. I'm gonna make an ellipse, probably about as wide as it. Like right about there, we can go to, let's see. Let's go to 7.5. And then what I want to do is I want to put a slot in the middle of it. And this is where your measurement comes in because a slot is going to be 0 0.263. And then let's see how long this is real quick. I'm just going to do that and see uh, what the width is in that. 1.58. Let's copy that. Copy that. We're going to delete this. The width, the width of the stem of the Christmas tree. Okay. And then we grab this and we bring it over here and we're going to put it hopefully in the center. We'll put it there. Grab this center center. Okay. So hopefully this will slot into here and we should be good. So let's try that as our prototype. And then she wants this as an earring hanger. So I'm not going to put any earring holes in here yet. I'm just going to see if this whole thing works and then we'll hold the, uh, the earrings up to it and see what we think and where we want to put them. So I'm going to export, export this as an SVG. And we're going to use our board, so it's going to do both of them. Okay, and then let's head downstairs to the laser. Okay, and we're down here with the X-Tool S1. 
The reason we're using this today is because of the fire detection. It probably has one of the best fire detections of any machine out there, and we are working with cardboard. So the one thing about working with cardboard or any paper products is that fire is a real issue if you don't get your settings correct. So we wanna make sure that we're safe when we do this. So if my settings are a little off and we happen to start a fire, we will know immediately and the machine will shut down. The other bonus of this is since we're just doing a prototype and we don't want to spend all our time measuring material and thing like that, we can use the machine itself to measure thickness and uh, give us those readings. Okay, so first I'm going to just put this on the material and we'll get a measurement for that. Okay, we're gonna give it a frame. All right, here we go. All right, so this guy's gonna fit in here. And so that's, so we need to play with that a little bit, but that's kind of what we're looking at. Now that we have our prototype, we can, and the reason I wanted the earring holes is because I wanted to get this thing out here first and see exactly where we want to put these. So I'm thinking like a line across here, a line across here, a line across here. And these guys are my, my longest earrings or my wife's longest earrings. And probably, what do you think about an inch apart? They can hang in there, so probably right, probably right in there. Yeah, that'll work. Back to the computer. Okay, so here we are, and we decided that we were going to I'm gonna grab a guideline here and bring it down to the tip, just the tip, right, ladies and gentlemen? And it looks like this is a little off, so we're gonna kind of split the difference there. And then I'm gonna use this um, star tool. I'm gonna make a little star. I noticed on the design that my wife had sent me initially that it had these stars as the places to put your earring through. So I thought it'd be kind of cool thing to use. Let's get some guides in here just to just to get an idea of where we're gonna put stuff. I'm gonna put one there. Here. It looks like we'll probably just have, actually we could maybe put four up at the top. Okay. All right. There is a star. It just doesn't have a stroke. Let's give it a stroke. All right. I'm just going to put that guy right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just copy and paste. The other thing you want to do is make sure to adjust this to the right thickness for your stock. So now we're using three millimeter walnut. And so now uh, like the thickness of this is gonna be different. 0 0.118. Okay, let's head back down to the laser. Okay, so we have our walnut in the machine. We have already measured the thickness of the material. And now we're just gonna go ahead and do our thing. All right, the runtime on that was about two minutes. Get this guy out. So, this guy slides in here. Oops. This guy slides in here. And there we have it. We've got our nice little earring holder. Looks like a Christmas tree. The wife wanted this for her Christmas earrings, so I think this is gonna work just fine. Use a little bit of this thick CA glue by Starbond because it kind of fills gaps. And we're just going to run a little bead around the bottom on both sides. I'm going to push it in. So I just took that outside and hit it with a little lacquer. This is the stuff I use, Minwax Clear Aerosol Lacquer. Uh, this is satin finish. And we're gonna let that dry for about a half hour. And just like that, you could take 
an idea and turn it into a final project. Check that out. I don't know if the light is doing it justice. Computer, turn light on. There you go, you can probably see it a little bit better now. But that's final project, little coat of lacquer on there, and, uh, and there you go. Now you know how to prototype, no excuses, gotta go.